सन उन्नीस सौ तीन हवाई जहाज के इन्वेंशन ने बदल दिया दुनिया के आने जाने का तरीका 2022 वेदांतु लॉन्चेस एआई लाइफ और ये बदलने वाला है दुनिया के सीखने का तरीका इंटरक्टिव क्लासेस टॉप टीचर्स सिर्फ पांच हजार रुपए सालाना guys what's up i hope all of you guys are having an amazing day going on now i am super excited because today's session is going to be really amazing because we are back with another amazing class on an amazing chapter one of my favorite chapter that is sound yes today we'll be learning about this chapter and this is the first class of the chapter that is sound cbc grade 8 and i hope all of you guys are ready if you are ready a very warm welcome to my class my name is mohan master teacher of science from vidantu Also, a very warm welcome to Vidantu Young Wonders. And if you guys haven't subscribed yet, you know what to do. Click on that subscribe button and get you know subscribe right away. All right, guys. So with that, we today are going to be talking about the starting of this chapter that is sound, the introduction towards it. We'll also understand a lot of amazing things, guys. We've all been wondering, you no, know, how is this sound getting produced? How am I producing sound? how is sound coming from that object this object and all that so we'll be understanding all of that in today's session okay so production and propagation of sound it is okay so we'll be learning about these two topics one is production of sound the other one is the propagation of sound now what is this propagation don't you worry because i'll tell you what it means all right so if you guys are there on instagram do not forget to follow me on instagram my instagram handle is yes learn underscore with underscore more do follow me over there to get all of the updates to get all of the upcoming news about what series i'm going to start what sessions i'm going to have there is also interactions that happen in the uh, on the instagram so do follow me if you have instagram okay so first one guys sound is produced by a vibrating body okay for example let's take our phone when it is on the vibrate mode what happens we hear that sound no we still hear that sound at the same time no matter where you look at from wherever sound is being produced if you observe carefully you can see that there is vibrations happening for example take a metal plate hit it what will happen because you can see vibrations in it you can literally see the vibrations right now what exactly is a vibration a vibration is a to and fro motion a to and fro motion of an object is called as vibration but wait a minute we have seen this l somewhere right the to and fro motion we have also seen in the case of oscillation right so it's the same so in vibration what happens it's a to and fro motions the particles go to and come back fro to and come back fro that is how vibrations happen now so sound is produced by a vibrating body they travel from one place to another in the form of waves and that is why we have given them the name as sound waves so the to and fro or to and you know back motion is called as a vibration of an object is called as vibration that is what is said to us cool the next thing is we have seen a lot of musical instruments right like the drums we also have the flute or the guitar sitar all of that so all of those musical instruments produce sound so what is vibrating in those musical instruments that is producing that sound let's have a look so i see here if you see in the stretched in you know in the guitar that he is playing there is a stretched string in it and whenever somebody you know plucks that string that string starts to vibrate and produce a sound yes now what about the next one the drums in the drums you can see the drum you know the stretched membrane and whenever somebody strikes the stretched membrane the membrane vibrates producing sound now something more special what about the flute we don't have any string we don't have any membrane so what vibrates in the flute so that we hear that pleasant sound so in the case of flute it is the air column guys the air itself vibrates to produce the sound all right 
Yes, we have a lot of other instruments based on similar types of vibrations that happen in them, which in turn produces sound to all of us. Okay, now, but what about us? Sir, I've seen the guitar, I've seen tabla, I've seen all of it, but what about you? What about me? How are we producing this sound? We can sing nicely, right guys? All of us, <laughs> not all of us. I'm a very bad singer, but yes. Now, how are we producing this amazing sound? Think about it. Do we have any vibrations happening anywhere? Are we vibrating when we talk? No. All right. Now I want you guys to all do an activity along with me. Take your hand, keep it on your throat and start singing a song. Any song, any of your favorite song. First things first, I must say all the words inside my Now when you sing, I am pretty sure that all of you are able to feel that vibrations that's happening right here. Yes, yes, yes. Everybody, don't choke yourself. Just you know, touch your, this part, the, 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 you know, the neck part. Now if you touch there, you can feel those vibrations. So what exactly is vibrating in the throat that produces sound? Now in our throat, there are two bands of muscle tissues like this guys. Two bands of muscle tissues which are found in the voice box or also called as the larynx. Right? Those two bands are called vocal cords. Now when the lungs force the air out, the vocal cords start to vibrate to produce sound. For example, no, keep your hand like this and start talking. Hey, what's up? How are you doing? All good? You can feel the air being pushed out of your mouth. Now try to exhale all the air. Now if you start talking, you find it very difficult. <laughs> right? You can't talk unless you have air in your lungs. Right? Try it again. See, now I can talk normally. If I exhale everything. Can I talk? I can't. Because there is no air in my lungs. So, the air is being forced out of the lungs through the vocal cords and the vocal cords vibrate to produce that sound. Now, to understand this, now I always do this one fun activity. What is that fun activity? We can take one paper. Two papers. Imagine these two papers are your two vocal cords. Okay? Now, the two vocal cords are like this. Keep it between your fingers. Imagine there are two vocal cords like this, guys. Okay? You're going to blow air here. You're going to force air through the vocal cords. That is, through the papers. And let's see what happens. Do you think the paper will start vibrating? What do you think? Do you, do you think it will produce voice? <laughs> let's see. So let's force air out of these papers. Alright. <laughs> Try this guys. It's amazing. Guys, if you force the air through the vocal cords. Now listen carefully. I am forcing the air through the vocal cords. The papers vibrate. Because the air is being forced out of them and they produce sound. In similar way, the vocal cords in our voice box, when the air is pushed out of the lungs, they start to vibrate and they produce the sound. Okay, everybody do this activity, but not to disturb somebody, but to learn how the vocal cords work. <laughs> Alright, you will have a better understanding about it. So yes, that is how we produce sound. You can see. This is a closed vocal cord when there is no sound being produced. And this is a open vocal cord. That's how always my vocal cord is. <laughs> it's always open because I'm always talking to you guys. Right, yes. So from the lungs, the air is being pushed to the larynx or the voice box where there are vocal cords which vibrate and the sound comes out. Got it? Yes. Simple. Now, what about the next one? Okay, look at this. Let's now talk about the propagation of sound. 
how is sound traveling if somebody is in that end of the room if i tell hey hello how is my sound traveling to that person over there by the propagation so propagation of sound means the traveling of sound okay so sound is propagated by the to and fro motion of the particles guys very simple see suppose there is a speaker right here the speaker is transmitting the sound to the ear whenever it produces that sound the air particles between them start to vibrate they start to go to and fro to and fro to and fro so when all of that air particles are compressed it's called as compression when they are brought together and again rare fraction happens compression rare fraction compression rare fraction right compression rare fraction all of this will produce a longitudinal wave this is a longitudinal wave we put it like this then we get the transverse wave now that is how the sound is propagated from one end to the next end now you guys tell me what is the main thing that's helping right here it is this particles present in between the speaker and the ear that particles are the ones which are responsible for carrying this sound from here to the ear from here to ear <laughs> all right so is it only air particles no solids liquids and gases they all have molecules in them since they have since they all have molecules present in them they can carry sound they can act as a medium for sound because they have particles in it how many of you guys have done this you have slept like this on the table your friend starts playing music at at the other end of the table you can hear that sound through the table because sound can travel through the solids as well liquids when you are inside this room you know inside the pool you can still hear sounds people walking gum 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 but it will be different but still you can hear the sound right guys your yes, sound can travel through solids liquids and gases as well and guess what sound travels fastest in solids and slowest in gases but why why is it fastest in solids and slowest in gases that is going to be your homework question if you're watching this right now put your answers in the comment section right away and the top comments i'll be you know giving them a shout out okay why is it faster in solids slowest in gases let me know the answers in the comment section so with that let's move forward guys what about the places where there is no particles like you know uh, like space can sound travel in vacuum because in in space there's nothing there are no particles to carry this sound so sound cannot travel through vacuum as there is no particles present for this vibrations to take place only if there are particles present vibrations will take place only if vibrations take place then the sound gets travel to one place to another that is the reason if you go get stuck in space and if you call for somebody help help nobody can hear you nobody suppose if an astronaut is stepping out for a for a space walk leaving his rocket there he is seeing everything even if it's if it's rocket explodes he still won't know it after after watching everything he looks back where's my that's my <laughs> so you can't hear sound so how do they communicate in space in space when the astronauts go out that is into space they will have special you know transmitters and receivers to transmit and receive the sound signals okay yes now that is how sound propagates in the gases liquids and solids as well and sound cannot propagate in the vacuum all right guys that is how cool it is now guys next thing what we're going to talk about after this class is going to be the different different things in sound that is about amplitude time period frequency what is a wavelength so it's going to be a fun filled class in the next session so make sure that you guys stay tuned hit on that subscribe button and keep waiting for the next session on sound and also this session i hope all of you understood what we learned today but before i tell you guys anything further i want to quickly let you know about something which is very 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 special now what is that that special news is going to be very exciting for all of you i'll quickly show you what that special news is okay
All right. So that special news right now, guys. If you go to my video, if you're already in my video, scroll down. You can find links like this. Now, what are these links for? Let us click and check for grade eight. Let's click. All right. All right. All right. We have Harsha smiling there, guys. For grade eight, CBSE twenty twenty two to twenty twenty three, your entire academic year, where you'll be having four hundred hours of teaching. school ka full syllabus along with study materials test series all of that for how much classes by top master teachers live doubt solving by the class teachers guys in class doubt solving trust me if i tell there is 100 percent doubt solving that happens in the class plus live quizzes and leaderboard test series with solutions all of that for just 4500 only and this is a very limited time off because since we are just launched this you're getting it for this price and the prices are definitely going to be going up very soon so if you're watching this right now today is the right time to take this course do not wait any longer because once the prices go up it will be a sad news no so don't wait for it take it up right today so let's scroll down okay let's check what all you'll be getting yes you have me there that was me before lockdown i was thin thin now after lockdown and all happened look at me <laughs> all right so guys yes what all you'll be getting let's check it out you'll also be getting your class schedule so see every day classes guys monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday all of the days you'll be having classes wow 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 so english science as well as maths all of these three subjects is what you'll be getting all right guys Now, if you scroll down, you can see what all you'll be getting. Live in class doubt solving. You have quizzes and leaderboards, assignments and class notes, study materials. All of that is what you'll be getting in this AI live course for four thousand five hundred. So take it up right today. So click on this. Use my coupon code, which is MK Pro, because the actual price, you know, is five thousand. You get this ten percent off because of my coupon code, that is MK P R O. So take the course up right today. I'll be waiting to see you all in the amazing AI live classes. So yep, guys, I hope all of you had fun. What we learned today about about sound. So we'll be continuing the sound chapter in the next class. So until then, this is me, Mohan, signing off. All of you, take care, stay safe, stay as lovely as always. You guys are, and do not forget to you know uh, test, click on subscribe button, like, and also do share this video. to all of your friends okay bye bye